Hello and welcome to the show. I am here today on GTA 5 taking a look at a really rather cool mod. As I've said before, to interest me in a mod, if you happen to add in a remote control car into a game that wouldn't normally have a remote control car, then <laughs> you have very much got my attention. Now, I have played around a little bit with various RC car mods in the past on this game. This is the latest one. It comes with something called the RC Bandito down here, sort of an off-road buggy. I mean, I've played with, uh, what was it, like a little mini Audi Quattro, I can't remember the name of the Omnis something or other. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, I have played around with these sort of things in the past. It's really interesting to see how they how they will function because, of course, these are essentially tiny versions, just you know, of of whatever is a full size car. This being a tiny, teeny tiny version, I say teeny tiny. Actually, this is a decent size kind of a vehicle. If I say this was RC car, it's probably what that fifth scale RC car, judging by its size against this person who is not paying any attention to it. What happens if we? I was trying to trip you up. I'll be honest. You just sort of jumped out of the way. You gonna do anything? Keep it up. No, no, you're not gonna do anything. I was going. <laughs> I wonder if he's gonna try to carjack me or something. Don't quite know how it would work. Oh, okay, we have now tripped him up. Now would probably be a good time to vacate the area. Goodbye. Uh, I didn't do anything. Uh, oh, yeah, he is actually angry at me. Okay, I've I've had a new thought. So, of course, with the way that these vehicles work, they're not actually a remote control car. In that the game character is inside the vehicle, it's just been turned invisible. So I'm kind of curious, actually. Will you try and carjack me, or are you just going to square up for a fight? In fact, if the person wasn't invisible, they're probably sat on it in a really won wonky way, which is why no, you don't, you don't. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why you have weird physics moments like that. Are you now not going to be able to fall over again? Oh, no, I've rolled it. We've had this car for like two minutes, and I have rolled it. And a nudge. Hey! Taken down. Oh, can we kill some? No, that, we shouldn't be doing this. We shouldn't be finding out if I can kill pedestrians with a road control car immediately. Oh, it does so with it. So, yeah, the, the way that these things have to work in the game does often lead to a little bit interesting driving characteristics, shall we say. And I was really curious to see how that would work in an off-road based vehicle. Now, I've raced, I've driven, I have a remote control buggy, certainly not something as big as this or anywhere near as fast as this, but uh, I am kind of a bit used to how these things should deal with bumps. And I'm curious to know, because a lot of the other because the other, other RC ones I played around with were, you know, just road cars, were circuit cars, so they weren't expected necessarily to be able to deal with the bumps, which is why we are here at the beast. This thing seriously shifts, by the way. This is like 70 miles an hour. Now, that's, of course, not at all unheard of, but for a car this size, for, for a road control car this, this sort of size, this scale, that sort of speed, that, that would do some serious damage. Can I get into the skate park without, uh... I mean, well, I guess we could use these. How do we deal with... Oh, Okay, airtime. Tad on the <laughs> Tad on the wonky side. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. Let's go have a jump into here. Kind of it actually feels a little bit like the cruise uh, airtime physics. It's like the gravity is a little bit too high potentially on this, and it does whoop, bounce around and do some do some wheelies. Are we going to be able to climb up? Yeah, so stairs it has a little bit of a problem with. Oh, we almost did a backflip there. Don't, don't get stuck in the floor. Don't get stuck in the floor. God damn it. Uh, is there a better bit of skate park to be going around? Maybe over this way? Can we jump into this next section? No, it's kind of just a bolt. Oh! Uh, <laughs> it was, I mean, we're doing some sweet stunts. We are doing some sweet stunts here. Uh, yeah, okay. It's, it's, a little, it's a little bit funky. It's kind of... Uh, Kind of as I expected, I was curious to find out, but it is kind of as I expected. When you come to try and do some jumps with it, uh, you whoopsie daisy. How have I annoyed you? What have I done to you? I was just whizzing around. I mean, did I did I ruin your day somehow? You want to punch a remote control car? I'm not sure how you could ruin someone's day to the point where they want to punch a remote control. I guess we run over their ankles with it. Probably would want to punch it. Uh, <laughs> can I get out of here again? I don't think so. No, no. Um, we're going to do some more with. How does one vacate... The premises when we're bouncing around. We will go. Well, another person to run over again. I feel, and maybe if we go for sort of speed and hey, there we go. We found a way out. A little bit wonkily, but we have found a way out. Hold on, we've got people to. It means it's a good vehicle for running over people because I mean they don't really know what to do with it. That does give me another idea. So we're seeing people acting a little bit funky around this. Bop. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> Sometimes you get them and you you'll f I now I now want to try and fire him into the skate park with the buggy. Uh, oh, slightly gone through the uh 
gone through with the concrete. Can we fire someone into the skate park with the buggy for science? Total bullshit. Apparently, it is. Apparently, it is not doable. Yeah, sometimes we. Sometimes they act solid. It really depends on how you hit them, I guess. Anyway, as I say, people are reacting a little funky to this. I guess the AI don't know what to do in terms of how to deal with ghost person in a little car. Which then does, of course, ask the question, what the hell are the police going to do? Now, the previous RC car I did have running around against the police uh, was a slightly different sort of style to this. So I'm going to be interested to see, are they going to shoot at me? Are they going to know where to shoot at me? Or are they going to kill, or manage to, you know, kind of kill me, uh, despite the fact that I'm slightly... We're going to find out at the end of the day. Off-roading, this... Handling is a little bit interesting. Handling is a little bit interesting. On road actually drives very, very well. You can it kind of moves about on the suspension a little bit in a peculiar manner, but it does actually drive very, very well. It's got sort of good. It's got good grip. Oh yeah. Okay. I think. Oh yeah. I say it's got good grip. I just spin it because it's bouncing around. Of course, little bumps are very large. It's a bit like the Aussie racing cars. Oh. I mean, okay, they're not quite fifth scale, but the, the Aussie racing cars race around the same circuits as the full-on V8 supercars. And well, funnily enough. The bumps that are quite large for a V8 supercar are massive to the little Aussie racing cars. They're kind of motorbike engines. They're probably half the size of a V8 supercar. Uh, maybe two thirds. They're tiny. Uh, so, yeah, of course, when you're running around from the police, uh, the little bumps. Oh, we also go past the police. Uh, probably not my cleverest moment. Uh, if one of those comes over a hill directly towards me, no Citroen. No Citroen. We're going this way now. I can't really see a thing. Uh, <laughs> Right, so they can, I believe. Oh no, I've hit some garbage and we've been spun out. Ah, uh, curbs! No, no, go, go! I don't. I think I might have Michael as invincible. I think we would need to be, otherwise, I think they'll just kill him because he's kind of sat rather exposed on the top of the vehicle. Uh, please run away. But yes, like little things like the piles of garbage, little things like a curb or maybe even like a drain, for example, is suddenly a lot, a lot more of an obstacle. For a car like this. Also, I think maybe the suspension. Uh, maybe I know why it's acting funny. There might be something weird. I was just noticed when I dive on the brakes, the car goes the wrong way. Looks like, I have seen this before on vehicles, the suspension might have got inverted slightly somewhere along the line. That's why it's leaning a weird way. Oh, we nearly got bopped. We nearly got bopped. Uh, does it lean the right way when it goes around the corner, though? Yeah, that's. It's. Again, making cars, making little cars behave how they should in a game that's not at all designed for remote control cars. Funnily enough, quite difficult. Like, actually, yeah, cornering-wise, this handles... I mean, it looks and drives how you'd want a little remote control car, which is quite quite fun. Off-road it doesn't, and braking is a bit strange. I have seen, yeah, as I said, I have seen cars with inverted suspension, but that normally means they'll tilt the wrong way when it comes to cornering. And, and braking, of course. This is just under braking. There we go. Are we going to have... Oh, the fuzz are still chasing us. I want, there must be an alleyway somewhere. Oh, no. <laughs> We've very nearly got run over a few times now. That's quite it's quite concerning. I mean, speed-wise, this is not too shabby. Speed-wise, this is not too shabby at all. We're talking... Is that a police officer has stolen someone's sentinel? I think they have, you know. Oh, he's going to crash someone's sentinel. Oh, there's another police officer there. I can't remember. Whoa, is that a police officer stolen a van? I mean, again... You know, you're chasing a little remote control car. Probably a any vehicle, if hits me once, runs me over, and may well give me a lot of trouble. I'm kind of curious, although apparently they are incompetent. I haven't driven away from the police for many months now on GTA 5. Admittedly, I used to do it against much more difficult uh, modded police pursuits, but... Uh <laughs> Apparently, they are no good at giving chase. This is the getaway vehicle you need. I mean, you can't... I mean, you could get some diamonds in here. You know, if you're doing a bank heist, seal up the chassis. Be an amazing getaway vehicle. No, don't plan a bank heist using a remote control car. I mean, we get an amazing getaway vehicle for the loot. Maybe not for... Oh, crap. Uh, maybe not for the people. Like, the, the loot you could get in here, it'd be real difficult to catch. Uh, no one steal that idea. That's my idea. And if I go to jail, you'll probably know what I was trying to do. Uh, so that's what happens when we get run over by a police car. Not much. Unfortunately, again, hitboxes around this car. I did very quickly test when I, well, when I loaded up. A truck was in front of me, so I had to try driving underneath the truck. And unfortunately, we cannot get the vehicle to go underneath a underneath a truck. It would be great if we could, but the hitboxes freak out if you try it. You can kind of you can't go underneath the side of it. Uh, oh, we've managed to bully a truck off the road into a tree with a remote control car. Ooh, no! Go away. Uh, <laughs> 
I mean, like, actual hitbox. Oh, no, 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 don't roll us. I was going to try to go down there, but I've got screwed over by a curve. Actual hitbox width and front wise of this vehicle is very good. Uh, however, the top, again, it's where the player model has to be made invisible to sit. Can't quite go underneath uh, semi trucks. Uh, we need to get away from the fuzz. I would say a car, a car park is always a go to. A go to option. The five star wanted rating. Getting out of the wanted radius and being able to stay out of it outside of hiding in a car park or a very difficult to reach bit is pretty damn tough. And that's with a sensible car, let alone with an RC car. Admittedly, this can go places other cars can't, although it also has issues with curbs that other cars don't. And the odd, you know, bit of litter. So, <laughs> there, are, there are difficulties. I think the helicopters might have a tough time following this because of the way it can change direction. You might be able to confuse the choppers pretty well. But yeah, as you see up there, that one, it has a tough time keeping up with the with the change of direction. I've always wanted to get away from the police up in that building that we're just racing past. This would be the ideal vehicle because of its maneuverability, but it can't climb stairs very well. We have also got, I completely forgot, I was have the Access All Interiors mod installed. I was trying to get another mod to work that in the end ended up not. You actually might have noticed pop-ups coming up from Lamar. Oh, wow, that got hurt. Uh, uh, that was, yeah, from another mod I was trying to get work. I couldn't get working. Uh, um, oh, no, 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 roll down here. We might have actually done goofed a little bit because this is very, very rough terrain for our buggy. Oh, come on. Go, go. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Shake everything. Oh, we might be stuck. No, buggy. Don't, don't die down here. I don't know how much damage this thing can take before it gives up. Uh, okay, we've got past that mean thing. I'm still a little bit stuck everywhere. Can we climb out of here? I don't know if we can, because that looks like a really, really nasty edge. No, we're not going to climb out of that. That's very solid. Okay, back up this way then. This way is going to have to be the way out. The Granger, thankfully, is very stuck. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare seal up our escape route. Come on, climb, climb, climb. Where can we go here? Can we climb up this bit? Yes, we can. And... Oh, don't go down that way. Oh, little squeeze. This is the advantage of a remote control car. Uh, <laughs> we've got stuck in a... Stuck in an area. However, thankfully, it's so tiny, it can get away with some of it. Now, uh, I don't quite know where... I don't actually know what any of these interiors are that we have got on the map. We will try... I think sometimes the police can kind of follow you into them. Sometimes they get quite confused. Might be a little bit cheating. I've got a remote control car though. I think we're allowed to do a little bit cheating. That's a big old curb. Oh, is this the hospital that I think it is? This is this the one? Oh, ouch! My poor remote control car. No, it's dead. No, we made it to the hospital. I mean, it would be better if it was a garage. I'm gonna be honest. Would have been better if it was a garage for a broken car. Is that a grenade they just threw in here? Oh, no, they're gonna tear gas their own people. Thankfully, I am in uh, I am in a bit of a precarious situation here. If I get out of the car, we get well, I mean, shot to pieces. I, I guess we could go like this is pretend we're recharging the batteries. Actually, you know, it's a nitro car. We're just refilling the tank of of, of petrol. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> my grand hospital is going. So, I mean, strength-wise, it's a pretty tough car. However, because you are having trouble with a lot of debris, and because well, funnily enough, car hits you does a lot of damage to you. Uh, you don't necessarily survive so well. Do the police actually follow you through the hospital? I don't know. I feel like this is now it's a little bit even extra super cheating because I had to re reset the car. Strength-wise, yeah, it's not massively strong, which is kind of good, actually. I'm glad it isn't because that makes certainly this sort of thing a little bit more of a challenge in some ways if you want to be trying to get away from the police, if you're just going to be messing around and crashing it and, and whatnot. Yeah, I, I'm... I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Uh, the, as I said, the handling is a tad on the. It's it's very it's very good on road. Like for driving it around here, it's actually very good fun. However, off road, as ever, with a with a little car and slightly oh, slightly invisible player physics, there's always going to be a little bit dodgy. Uh, it's it reacts better than some I have seen, but yeah, it is it is far from far from perfect. In, in in that regard, but as a vehicle to mess around with, you know, you've got to love a little remote control car that does 80-something miles an hour. Uh, <laughs> you've got to love being able to do 80 or so miles an hour uh, whenever you might fancy it. Ooh, I think I can find a sneaky way to get away from the fuzz here. Uh, sneaky, 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 go, 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 in here. 
Fuzz, I am absolutely not in the garage. There is no way, shape, or form that you can find me in this garage. Okay. Now, this is where we should have broken down with a buggy. And we can hide. I wonder if, because it's so tiny, whether we can hide in corners, like in the car park, you can hide in corners where normally you can't get a vehicle, etc. I mean, quite possibly. I like remote control cars. I like remote control cars in games, even games that are not supposed to have remote control cars. So, <laughs> yeah, this one, is, this one is good fun. This one is very good fun. I will, of course, link this mod in the description of this video if you want to have a go with it yourself. I might at some point have a play around with the handling files and see what I can <laughs> see what I can do with I vaguely know a little bit about uh, sort of setting up the, the handling of the vehicles. I might have a play, see, yeah, see what I can get. See if I can figure out what the brakes are doing anyway. At least that might, might, might make life a little easier. I can speak, I think. We're just now going to see if the police are going to come into the garage. We'll just pretend it's like a, a toy of the garage. We're totally legitimately parked in here. There's no reason to look. Yeah, I, th I think maybe the open and all interiors is a little bit cheaty for hiding spots. Uh, <laughs> just, just a smidge. I mean, it sounds like they're pretty close. It sounds like they were shooting at something, but I'm not sure what they were shooting at because they've not seen me. So I don't know what they were shooting at outside. I guess if they see me go in here, they might... Oh no, they have actually found me. How? How have they found me? There's no skylights there, I guess, unless someone... Oh. Um. Hello, officer. You are precarious. I'm, I'm going up the stairs. Don't look in the door. No, 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 you look the wrong way. Don't look in the door. Okay, apparently this does confuse them. They're well. <laughs> stairs, stairs do flummox the car slightly. The front end get caught on... On, on the stairs slightly we need a rock crawler next like the buggy is good fun for racing it's probably good it's good racing on dirt it's good racing on the old uh, on the old tarmac i think we need a rock we, don't, we need a rock crawler rc car if someone fancies making one of those that'd be really really cool anyway as i said link the one in the description if you want to play around with it yourself uh, but that is going to be it for today thank you very much for watching and until next time a uh, goodbye <laughs>